what do you think was your worst financial mistake? I mean, looking back now, you know, with wisdom eyes and retrospectively. Uh, I invested money in a business uh, in chasing quick returns. Everyone does it. So uh, you find someone that you met through a friend. They say, you know, I think everyone goes through that. Yeah. Um, and I've lost money in that. Uh, so I probably put in um, back in the days, I'm talking to you about 2008, 2009, mm. I probably put in about $30,000. Mm. Um, in, in, all gone. And it's gone. I never saw it. <laughs> I never saw the person again. <laughs> was, it, was it a pure con or did the, the, the business just not work? So I think it was a con. Mm. Um, I've never met the person again to be able to tell me <laughs> if no, it wasn't a con. But yeah. Okay. Um, so, and, and let me ask, I guess, for coming from a place where, like you've said, um, there's quite a bit of lack, mm. how then do you deal with, because uh, even the figures you're talking about in terms of $5,000, I mean, that's, that's money. That's, that's a, yeah. a good amount of money. Yeah. So how do you deal with the sheer volume of money that's now coming your way? Um, do you feel like you're able to handle it well? Um, thankfully, because I made some of those mistakes. So when I lost the money, I think it was, no, it wasn't 2000. I was earlier, 2008, because I had taken part of it as loan. Mm. So I was paying that back for the next, I think, two or three years. It mm -hmm. took me a long time to pay yeah. that back. Yeah. But once I was able to, and I was able to earn more, um, there's a few things that happens for you when, when you when you become more valuable, when you add skills that add to you as a human being, mm -hmm that adds to the work that you do, that allows you then, so there's a number of things that happen. Number one is your network grows mm. because now you're operating differently. You're able to solve problems for people. There is a lot of credibility that you start building in the market. And people, people like to do business with people who seem successful or who seem smart or who have a certain... Um, demeanor or attitude to them which is positive so network you start building uh, your reputation you start building you now have um, access to people that you didn't have before mm -hmm. so you learn from these people you have now probably joint investing opportunities with these people that you did not have before um, but also your learning and your knowledge goes up all those things I believe have a huge impact on what you do next mm -hmm. if you learn from your mistakes, that is. Uh, I think every one of us mm -hmm. goes through a few mistakes in life that we learn instantly and we, can, we say, we'll never do this again. Mm -hmm. And then there are some mistakes you keep repeating because you've not learned the lesson. Yeah. So uh, it's the same. I mean, it's, it's the same um, about those things. So thankfully, because I had lost and I um, got hit really badly in a number of places, um, those lessons help me how I operate today. Okay. So from 2009 to 2019, I know we were speaking about it earlier, yeah. after I made that big loss, I started eight businesses while I was still employed mm -hmm. with this connectivity company, ISP. And I left uh, that company, of course, that company, the, the ISP, I was able to grow at 50X. It got acquired by one of the biggest players in Africa, I stayed on for another two years or so, and then I exited the company in 2019 mm -hmm. after I became the CEO of 2009, went into all the way to 2019, did the M&A, and exited. But in that 10 years, while I was leading the ISP, I was in actively investing in other businesses, mm -hmm. um, taking from the lessons that I've learned. and you know. So I invested in eight businesses. By the time I exited, Seven of those had failed. Mm -hmm. uh, and there were different lessons for every business and how it failed. So, what kind, of, um, what kind of businesses did you, what are the different, you know, off different verticals or just? So, yeah, I had an um, advertising business. Um, I wanted to start something in agriculture. Mm -hmm. um, there was a consulting business. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, there, there, was, there, was, there, there were a number of areas that. Um, I was excited about, but in most cases, I was not either prepared in some way. I didn't do my research well. I didn't understand how to do my financing. Um, I didn't have enough capital mm -hmm. or I miscalculated my capital. Okay. 
Uh, well, I guess the one that worked, you know, I guess that... that well, the, the one that worked, uh, yeah. I'm thankful for it. But, you know, when you spend 20 years in the, in, in the telecom or tech space in any market, there, there are a lot of positives that work for you. Mm. Uh, I had done a lot of... I had a lot of wins under my belt, like the, the first ISP, mm. uh, the first premium ISP, the, the top premium ISP in Tanzania. Uh, we had a lot of fun. We were very innovative the way we did things. We, we changed the narrative of how an ISP should be. Um, we continuously pushed the envelopes. We, so I'll give you an example. In 2009, when I came to the helm of the business, mm -hmm. um, we had established a couple of hundred free Wi-Fi hotspots within the country. Do you know why we did that? Because if I went to hire a billboard, it would cost me, if I wanted 10 billboards, it cost me $30,000 a month. Mm -hmm. But I had 200 hotspots that cost me $5,000 a month. And anyone who used those hotspots for free mm -hmm. had to sign into. So I already into. have 200 billboards. Yeah. That's how we were thinking back in the day. This is like, what, 15, 16 years ago. Mm -hmm. right? And so we, we were very innovative in the way we operated. And because I didn't come from a place of being scared because I've always been a rebel and uh, misfit. So I dropped out. I got into a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. My threshold for taking risks was better. Mm -hmm. And not that I didn't make mistakes. It, I just was moving fast uh, in taking different approaches, uh, launching different products, testing out things faster, mm -hmm. which helped me um, to learn more, more lessons. Yeah. And for 20 years, when you do that and you've got your wins and you go through a few phases of your life, I believe you, bu you build incredible credibility and reputation that then opens other doors for you. So, um, again, giving an example to that, in 2019, I started a marketing business and learning from my, all the failed businesses, I had you know, already estimated that you know, I'll invest uh, I went in with a partner mm -hmm. who was a trustworthy person. She's still my partner today. She used to be the head of my marketing at the ISP. Um, we said, we're going to put in this amount and it's going to take us two years to be uh, sustainable. But that business was profitable in uh, six months. Mm -hmm. So I could not have done that in six months if I didn't put the 20 years of learning. Yeah. What allowed it to be profitable in six months? Because of my networks and mm -hmm. my credibility and my partner's credibility and the kind of... Uh, so we were able to learn from the mistakes so much so mm -hmm. that we understood what is lacking in the market, mm -hmm. what are people struggling with. We were not the first marketing agency, but we knew the existing players were not addressing a particular area of the market or were lacking a, a particular type of service or were not reaching the expectations. So mm -hmm. we understood that. We came from a place of being in business or being working or being employed for the last 20 or so years. I mean, I was 20. She was slightly less or slightly more. I don't, I don't remember, but we had similar time frames. And we built credibility. Um, even though we had planned for two years, we are profitable in the first six months. And when people look at that, I, I get asked, you got lucky. I'm like, no, no, no. It took me 20 years to learn how to do it in six months. Mm -hmm. And how much did you guys invest? So I, I think we started that business with about twenty thousand mm. dollars, and most of that was working capital. Yeah, and you know, getting okay. the office and whatnot. That makes. I mean, I guess as and it's, it's we celebrated yeah. five years this year. Well, congratulations! Yes. <laughs> very doable.